This video will show how the new exhibit labels work. Exhibit labels, exhibit tags. I'm making this video for the specific client that I made the labels for, but I'm putting it on YouTube for everyone to see, not to show you how to do something so much as to show what's possible with automation for Microsoft Word to make your life easier when you have to do repetitive things in documents. So in this case, I made these exhibit labels and I put them under Quick Docs, Forms and Inserts. I could have put a button anywhere I wanted, but I just dropped the template that I made here in exhibit labels and the template includes all the programming code so this form right here is other automation that I'd already made anyhow create doc this starts the exhibit labels and so I can let's say I want to start at number 23 or 232 doesn't really matter and I want 13 of these give it a case number plaintiff and defendant, and then I've got an option here. Are these for plaintiffs or defendants? There could be as many options as we want, and they don't have to be this type of radio button. It could be however we want. We just needed plaintiff and defendant for this. Say OK. Now it's going to take it a few seconds to run because the programming is resizing table cells and inserting the label text again and again, but you can see now it's done a lot faster than if I typed or copied and pasted these myself. So the way this is set up, I don't know if you notice or not, but when we did the exhibit labels, not everything was in all caps, but I noticed that in the document, it was all caps with the exception of deputy clerk. So I set it to automatically capitalize uh, the plaintiff and defendant, but we can change that. It doesn't have to be that way. And if we don't want deputy clerk in title case, we can change that too. So it's in the document now, and I put it into content controls, which I have mapped to each other, which that means that once this document is created, you can come in here and type anything you want in any one of these content controls, and it will change throughout the document. So I could make changes after the fact to fix something up that I just didn't realize before. Except with the number. The number is a sequence field that's set to start where we tell it and then increment by one throughout. And there you have it. And I think I told it to make 13 of these. So I'm just scrolling and you can see that is how many it made. So there you have the exhibit labels. And now you know that you can program Word to prompt you for information, format information, do all kinds of things.